Dheeraj Singh, CEO SIS, to talk to us about Q2 numbers as well. Uh, Dheeraj, uh, let me ask you first off with regard to margins. They've come off slightly, of course, but your typical margin is a 5% kind of margin. So even a slight bit of margin coming off creates a knock on numbers. Just give us perspective as to what's happening. So this quarter is the highest ever revenue for SIS group. Right? It's 3,270 crores. And at the same time, our margins have improved in both the security and subsidy management in India. Uh, both the businesses have seen a 10.1% uh, uptake in the margin side. Uh, and importantly, this has been one of the best quarters for our collections. We've reduced our DSO by four days. Uh, consequently, reducing our debt by almost 200 crores and bringing our net debt to EBITDA uh, below 1.5. So, if you look at the top line, the bottom line, and the collection line, this has been a, uh, an excellent quarter. But I agree that the margins have further scope for improvement, and it is seeing that improvement. Uh, very happy that subsidy management is now on the uptake, and it's now reporting at about 4.3 percent plus, and this trend should continue in the future. Right. Uh, thanks for that. Uh, thanks for that, uh, Mr. Singh. This is Rucha Samaya joining in. Uh, On to the margins front. Well, uh, what kind of range do you expect uh, uh, the margins to come by and from which vertical? Because as I see Security Solutions India and Security Solutions International segment as well, both posted healthy revenue. But uh, uh, margins is what uh, is in my mind. Where do you expect the margins to come from? So the Security India is at a margin of 5.5%. Uh, and that is quite near to what we had pre-COVID. So we expect to be between 55 to 6% going forward also on the security side. The city management is taking some time, but uh, we've always been saying that we'll see the upside of 5% uh, around the end of Q4. And the next year is when we should have both the Indian businesses in upwards of 55 to 6%. The international business, has traditionally been in the four and a half five percent range. We had issues on the SXP business from the last quarter that has improved slightly in this quarter, uh, but it will take two or three quarters for the international business to come back to four and a half percent. Give us context on growth, Mr. Singh. Where is growth going to come from going forward, and what's the full year growth guidance like? So on a quarter on quarter basis, also we've grown by almost four percent um, across all businesses. And we expect this trend to continue for the next few quarters. Uh, so all the businesses are firing right now. Even our cash logistics business, that's for the first time reported a quarterly revenue of more than 175 crores uh, at a very healthy EBITDA of 70%. So we expect the same growth overall by about 15% is what we have guided always, that we should achieve growth annually. And we are on track for that. Okay, uh, Mr. Singh, uh, let's move on to the order book pipeline, right? Uh, you mentioned in the last quarter where you were trying to get out of some low margin contracts, especially the uh, railway kind of government contracts. Uh, so what is the outlook? Are you able to move out of the low margin contract or, uh, you know, is this company still stuck over there? We've moved out of a lot of low margin contracts. Um, and uh, we are taking contracts which are more solutions oriented which have a higher margin potential. And uh, we are seeing that in both subsidy management and in security business. In security business, our V product business is now managing upward of 25,000 sites. And it has an EBITDA margin of uh, upwards of 20% in this tech-based V product alarm business. So we will focus on new contracts that have a more of a solutions approach uh, across all the segments. Even in our cash logistics business, we've moved from almost 5% last year to 10% of our business coming from the non-traditional ATM uh, uh, segment. Yeah, cash logistics, I'm, 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 I'm a bit uh, reluctant about this or just wanting context on this. Cash logistics has grown 13%, very healthy for you. Also, you're seeing an EBITDA growth of uh, nearly 21% on that business. What's happening there? Because isn't cash in the system, uh, of course, growing, but at lower than GDP rates, and therefore, isn't cash uh, management services going out of business rather than coming into business? 
fortunately not. And uh, if you look at the cash in circulation from uh, demon time of uh, demonetization till now, it is almost three x of that. So the perception that cash is reducing is incorrect. Yes, the digital payments have also gone up significantly, but the overall cash in circulation is continuing to increase. Secondly, as we scale up, the benefits of our cluster approach, the density that is accruing on the bottom line. And thirdly, the new segments that we are focusing on, um, all the value added services, the doorstep banking, the, those are adding to both the top line as well as the bottom line. So can it, can it further be optimized? Is that what you're suggesting? Or are you adding more pin codes and therefore margins will come off in this business? No, we want to focus on businesses that will be accretive on the margin. Got and it. there is Got it. Okay, thank you so much, Mr. Singh. It's, uh, it's been a pleasure speaking from, uh, from Rucha and myself. Wishing you a very, you and the entire team a very happy Diwali and uh, festive greetings. And of course, we'll call you back, get more perspective on each of your business verticals uh, separately. Of course, this, uh, we ran out of time on this show. So thank you so much for coming in. Mm -hmm.